Hello everyone, this is Odom Pirate Servio.com and I'm going to be showing you how to uh, convert the UOP art files to Mule uh, so you can check for new art updates and uh, incorporate that art into your existing Mule. Uh, first of all, what you would do is when you discover there's new art, uh, what I do is uh, I come to my directory. I have a uh, version for patching that I have a version where I've uh, converted mules but what you would do is you go to your, your directory and first of all before you patch um, what I would do is uh, copy your art mule just copy that and we'll drop that in a folder And then copy, copy the IDX. Art dot, uh, or art IDX dot mule, and then the tile data. Which is here. And there we go. And that's before uh, the patch. So then I come to the patch and run run your patch as normal. Yo patch, which I'm already patched, but you'd click that, run the patch. And it'll check and patch and whatnot. Then you come to your directory. This is the one I was patching. That's the one you want to check. And what you would do is you'd get your art legacy um, right here, art legacy mule dot uop. That's the new art files. And paste that in here, and I'll go ahead and take the art IDX. and the tile data for those just for the heck of it just so if I happen to <coughs> load these files I can see the, the tile data uh, and I'll paste that there so this is the new stuff and art 1 and this is the old stuff in art 2 so then you load your UO Fiddler Sorry. Uh, what you want to do is you want to install. There's a plugin called UOP Packer. Uh, I got this off Run UO. There's another version that I haven't used yet, which is I'll post a link to that. You can try that out. But my UO Fiddler, I've just installed this plugin. But I dropped it in my plugin folder. So anyway, you would. You would go to manage, turn that on, close Fiddler, restart it, and then you'll have your UOP Packer tab here. So what I do, see it has the option to extract UOP to Mule. Every file. If you did this to your main directory, it would it would do every single file, but I'm just going to do the art, which I put in the art folder. And there you go, and I hit start. Art legacy meal UOP extraction process may take take some time. One of one done, and then you close. And what it's done is turned this into mule, so I don't need that anymore. And I'll just delete it, and then I'll kind of fiddler again. Settings path settings. Reload file, set path manual, new art. I loaded the files there and reload uh, set path manual one more time. And it loads the directory. So there we go. You close that, settings, and you hit the red reload files. Now the art will actually be displayed. 
and uh, recently, I think it was like OX384, I think. Here's the new stuff everybody's been talking about, the, the little animated uh, kittens. You can see I got the tile data in there so I can see what they're called, what flags they have, animation. Uh, the animation data would be required to actually have the, uh, the working animation. So there they are and that's how you do it. Then you have what's called a, a compare items tab, which this is the the, the directory you have set in your uh, your path setting. So this is the mule that I have loaded. Then you can load a second. So you click browse. And remember when I saved the art prior to doing all this, I put it in new art too. And you load second, and it loads all the art. And these are color coded, so you can you can scroll and it'll compare any differences that it finds, which it'll find uh, differences in pixels, like say they changed the color of something, or they took they repaired an image, took it out. You'll see all that with uh, colorization. I think red means nothing's there and blue means there's a change which it should be down in memory hog there we go so there's the new one see how this one don't have it and this one does it's in blue if you go real quick you can see uh, the animation so watch the kitty I'll show you real quick all of these I do believe that is a tiger. I may be wrong, but it kind of looks like a tiger cub. Ah, the dogs breathe. I didn't know that. Their little bellies go up and down. That's it. That's how you do it. I hope this helps you uh, figure things out. Uh, and of course you would be able to uh, either this is converted if you converted everything you know the radar and the, the meal the tile data um, radar color I don't know, yeah so you would and the anim data because that's an animation you could actually use this file with your client but if you've already got an existing client, what you'd have to do is uh, manually extract every single one of these. Put them back into the game. Do all the tile data. Do the animation data. And uh, any radar color, if any. Uh, these wouldn't necessarily need radar color, but stuff like walls and uh, land and all that do. There you go. I hope this helps you.